This is a marine biology presentation created by Emily No, Destiny Freeman, and Aaron Day on plastic pollution. Some background on plastic pollution. The mass manufacture of plastic began around the 1950s. There is about 4.9 billion tons of discarded plastic in our oceans, with between 4 to 12 million metric tons of plastic entering the ocean each year. The proliferation of plastic products in the last several decades has been extraordinary. Quite simply, humans are addicted to this nearly indestructible material. We are producing over 300 million tons of plastic every year, 50% of which is for single-use purposes, utilized for just a few moments, but on the planet for at least several hundred years. More than 8 million tons of plastic is dumped into our oceans every year. Packaging is the largest end-use market segment, accounting for just over 40% of total plastic usage. Annually, approximately 500 billion plastic bags are used worldwide. More than 1 million bags are used every minute. A plastic bag has an average working life of 15 minutes. Over the last 10 years, we have produced more plastic than during the whole of the last century. Of the 8.3 billion metric tons that has been produced, 6.3 billion metric tons has become plastic waste. So what exactly causes plastic in our oceans? Single-use plastic, such as plastic utensils, plastic bags, and plastic packaging, unmanaged trash or improper disposal, such as litter, overfilled public trash cans, fishing nets in the oceans, and microbeads from toothpaste and facial scrubs and polyester and clothing. Some of the effects of plastic in the ocean include the ocean's food chain. Filter feeding organisms such as bivalves can be clogged up with mycoplastics, suffocating and starving the organism. Mycoplastic can be mistaken as phytoplankton and zooplankton by organisms such as nectonic fish. Plastic trash is commonly mistaken as food by larger organisms such as sea turtles mistaking plastic bags as jellyfish. Plastic rafts are also causing invasive species to appear in our oceans. This problem was prominent in the Japan 2011 tsunami. Large plastic objects can be used by sessile and nectonic organisms to travel across the ocean and inhabit habitats they are not native in. Organisms become invasive species, which can disrupt the natural ecosystem of the habitat. And finally, some solutions. There are many ways to prevent plastic from entering the ocean, some examples being reducing the usage of single-use plastic by substituting for reusable items, including reusable grocery bags, utensils, coffee cups, straws, and bottles, saying no to plastic water bottles, avoiding products with microbeads. As mentioned before, microbeads are difficult to clean up, and fish mistake them as plankton or fish eggs. Participating in beach cleanups. Implementing change by speaking to lawmakers, city officials, and or communities about the correct steps to take in reducing plastic use to benefit our oceans and environment. Reaching out to businesses and restaurants to switch over to compostable and recyclable packaging.